Hey everyone, Caleb with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a question I hear all the stinking time from all my friends that hear that I have a, a uh, antique book business on eBay, and that is, should I start an eBay business, this eBay store, an eBay account to make some money? So obviously my answer would be a resounding uh, yes, duh, yes, stinking yes, like so many ways of saying yes, and the reason for that is because when you do your own eBay store, like I find eBay is like one of the best things to do business with because eBay is like very lenient. They let you do what you want to do in so many ways. Like, yes, they have some rules, but like you can do it and you can run your own business. And it's like it can be pretty hands off depending on how you do it and depending on how many listings you make, how much work you put in. You can work as much as you want to work, basically. So for me, when I started my eBay business, I was still working a factory job, working 12 hour shifts. And yes, that's 12 hours. And it wasn't just that, but it was graveyard shifts. So I mean, I was talk, I was tired, dog tired, and I'd sleep during the day. And it was like, rough as everything. And I'd work from Wednesday to Friday, Wednesday to Saturday, every other week. So sometimes I'd have the Saturday off. And for me, Saturday off meant that I could actually go out and for me, I uh, sell antique books and I would go out some Saturdays and I buy antique books. I'd list them the next day and I would be getting some sales throughout the week as I was doing my thing and I was getting some good money on the side and it got to the point where I actually quit my uh, factory job to work just eBay and it's been so stinking fun since then. And uh, admittedly, that's not entirely 100%. I was doing Amazon FBA uh, back at the time that I was doing that too, and Amazon FBA just did not make the money for me, so that's why I shifted into just antique books. So that's something that you guys might want to do if you are doing it. You might want to test out a few different things, see what works best for you. For me, I have really enjoyed antique books, but for you guys, you might want to sell shoes, you might want to sell belts, you might want to sell like leather scraps, I don't know. There's all sorts of stuff that you guys can sell on your own, so that's definitely something you want to test out. And uh, there are some issues though with eBay. So when you make your account, you are going to, and when you make listings, you're going to say how long it takes for you to handle your handling time, that sort of stuff. And you'll have to say how long it takes for you to do it. If you say you are going to have your orders out by three days, you have to have it out within three days or else eBay is going to get mad at you. They might even suspend your account, all that sort of stuff. Stuff. So when you are making your stuff, be sure to give yourself wheel room. And if you say that you'll take 30 days to do it, you might miss out on some sales. But with all that said, I would like to also add that if you don't want to work a whole lot on this business, you won't make as much money, no, but you won't have to work as much. So if you only want to work like an hour a week, just spend, say, an hour buying product to sell on your eBay store. And when you do that, you will list all your items, and uh, which will take potentially another hour, depending on how fast you get at it. You'll get pretty fast. A lot of people take like six minutes to make a listing, so you can do it really quick. But that said, when you do that, depending on how many things you get, you'll only have so many sales within a week. So if you do it just on a small scale, you won't have a whole lot of sales that you'll get. You might get one or two a week. And one or two a week, if you uh, set your handling time right, you can j just do all that and just one drop off to the post office, and it's nice and quick. So it's just something that you can really decide how much you want to work and that sort of stuff. And at the end of the day, though, if you want to make it big, if you want to make some really good money, you're going to have to put in a lot more time. A lot of people like to do like 10 hours. They like to put in a whole long day of doing it. Or there are lots of other people that just do it after work. Like for me, I did it after work and on my weekends. So that was a whole lot more work for me. And especially because I was also doing like 21 credits of college at, at the same time. So I didn't really have time. I didn't really know what sleep was at the time. So I don't know. But there are a lot of ways that you can do it. There's a lot of ways you can squeeze it in. Maybe you can just cut out a little bit of your time watching TV, a little bit of time talking with friends. Because at the end of the day, what's more important? Like, two hours with the friends today or potential to build up your future tomorrow. So it's something that you really want to balance on your own. And if you aren't totally motivated to try to become something more and build something really cool, then maybe an eBay business is not for you. Maybe you need to just continue working your nine to five. You have to be someone that's motivated and willing to like really stick it out no matter what you're seeing. You want to be someone that works no matter who's watching because you have to have a really good work ethic if you're going to do eBay and if you're your own boss because if you're lazy, you're not going to make any listings, you're not going to buy anything, and your eBay business isn't going to do anything whatsoever. So you want to be someone that's very motivated. And if you aren't just yet, I would personally say that getting motivated is something you can really do with eBay. And especially if you're doing your listings right and making all your sales correctly, 
you can find that you actually get more motivated and are willing to work harder because you are getting sales. You are seeing that your work is actually paying off. And let's say in your first month you make a thousand bucks, it's like, oh wow, I got a thousand dollars for the extra few hours that I worked. Or if you're like me, I actually uh, grossed 50K within the first four mon months of me doing uh, all my book businesses. So that's just something that you guys could be looking forward to as well. So with all that said and done, I would say that everyone honestly should start an eBay business if they have any interest in business whatsoever or if they would like to do a side hustle. Now, it's not the best business for everyone, but it is definitely something that I think a lot of people could definitely benefit from. And it's something that can be really, really enjoyable. So I'd love to see you guys in my other videos. I talk about antique book businesses in general, but I also talk about eBay businesses in general. So I'd love for you guys to subscribe below or uh, hit the subscription button and be sure to check out one of my other videos that pops up there. And I'll see you guys in the next one.